Hello, my name is Ward Coleman, and I'm looking forward to being with you and Josh. Welcome to this video where Josh McDowell will be speaking to us about the third step in the seven steps of parenting. Appreciation. It is the cornerstone of a parent-child relationship. When our children hear us say, I appreciate you, they feel worthwhile and valued and they gain a feeling of significance. What is significance? In this third session on parenting, please take notes as Josh McDowell explains to us appreciation. Truth. You shall know the truth, Jesus said, and the truth will set you free. And to present that truth, we've got to present it in the context of relationships. First of all, how that young person, that very truth, affects their relationship with the truth giver. Second, how that truth affects their relationship with others and others with them. In last session, this session, we're talking about the relationship, especially of parents, grandparents, a pastor, the youth pastor, a deacon, an elder, a Sunday school teacher, a Bible study leader. Their relationship with those young people is so critical for those young people to receive the truth, to weigh it, and as God the Holy Spirit leads them to trust Christ as Savior and Lord. In the first session here, we saw two aspects of building that relationship. First is affirmation. When we affirm our children's emotions, it gives them a sense of authenticity. Second, acceptance. With unconditional acceptance, we give a child a sense of security. And now third, appreciation. And all of this is under the umbrella, truth. The very truth of the scriptures, truth without relationships leads to rejection. So the third step in building that relationship is appreciation. Oh, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, Sunday school teacher, whatever. When we express appreciation to our children, to our young people, it says one thing, I am significant. Now, what do we mean by significant? Significance is that sense or feeling that you've done or said something worthwhile. How do we express that? Through appreciation. And when we express appreciation, it says to that child, what I've done has value. What I've said is of value. Therefore, they feel significant. And when a child starts feeling significant with their daddy, their mom, with that significant adult in their life, that's the beginning of a relationship. That's when barriers start to break down. That's when you can present truth in the context that they will be more readily able to accept it and willing to accept it. In Matthew 3, there was a baptism of Jesus in verse 17. The whole world could have been watching. If there had been video then, God would have had a video crew there. And the sun comes up out of the water, S-O-N, and it says the heaven is opened up and the boy said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. What was God the Father saying about Jesus? I appreciate you. And they were saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Jesus, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you've done. I appreciate this. He was expressing appreciation. Almost every epistle that Paul wrote, he starts out by expressing appreciation before he tries to correct her theology or morality. Uh, now, Romans, he wasn't writing to correct theology or morality, but like in Romans 1.8, he says, I thank my God for you all. Why? For your faith is known throughout the whole world. What was Paul saying? He was saying, Romans, I appreciate you. I appreciate your testimony. I appreciate your lifestyle. I appreciate your witness. It's known all over the world. I took a young man out to dinner here in Orlando the other day. I've had dinner with three different young men uh, in a kind of a counseling situation. This one young man, he's... 15 years old, and he said, my dad doesn't appreciate anything that I do. And I just thought his father's missing out on one of the greatest principles of building that relationship. And I'll tell you this, the way the son talked, he wouldn't accept anything the father tried to teach him because he doesn't feel significant. For years, I parented wrong. And I'm so glad that God brought some people and literature and the scriptures into my life to change it. I parented, like so many people parent, I think many pe churches teach, I parented by catching my children doing things wrong 
and disciplining them. That doesn't work. It doesn't mean I don't catch them doing things wrong and discipline them. But that needs to be in the context of overall lifestyle of catching my children doing things right and expressing appreciation. Thank you, Kelly, for putting your clothes in the hamper. Your mom will appreciate that. Sean, thank you for sweeping off the porch. I appreciate that. Now, would you do the other half? <laughs> Katie, thank you for changing Heather's diapers. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Catching your children, like recently I said to Heather, I said, Heather, I so appreciate the way, it was night before last, I guess, how you had your friends over and you all sat around. Mom said how you sat there so long studying together for your exam. I so appreciate all the effort you put in to studying the exam. Regardless, honey, of what you get on the exam, I just want to let you know I appreciate. I'll tell you this, that's one of the greatest motivation next time to get her to even spend more time doing that, is expressing that appreciation. Catching our kids doing things right and expressing appreciation. Appreciating our children means finding ways to express to them that what they say and do has value. This strengthens our relationship with them. The next, fourth point in our study together will be availability. Let us join together next time to see why we as parents need to be available to our children.